for a while, they were very active in Lowell. Uh, they must have, they had some money. And they uh, would have, uh, uh, around his death day, which is in October, um, Lowell celebrates Kerouac. And I was very fortunate to go. And, and the first time I went, I, I'm like, I've got to write a poem for, for, for Kerouac. And so this is, this is my poem for Kerouac. It's called Kerouac. <laughs> okay. I had nothing, but I had a gray t-shirt. And I ironed on black velvet letters, K-E-R-O-U-A-C. I had nothing. I had four walls on St. Mark's Place, a bottle of Calvados, and the indifference of the universe. I had nothing. Ah, but I had you. From sea to si shining sea, east to west, north to south, Atlantic, Pacific, Arctic, Antarctic, the Indian Ocean, and the mar incognito, over, under, inside and out, beyond everything, I had you. I had your words, lines and paragraphs, rolling down mountainsides, high above the timberline, from Desolation Peak to 242 choruses of blues for the Buddha, and Fellaheen of Mexico City and every other place. I had your footprints in the sand in Tangier, your palm print on the wheel of impermanence, your dreams of long childhood walks under the old trees of New England, your athlete's body, your flannel shirt, <laughs> Your handsome face on a fire escape on East 7th Street just before the invocation of Duluth, inhaling one last lucky strike for the pent-up, aching, restless road. Farewell, subterraneans and water towers of Manhattan. It was time for all that coming back to America, the Lincoln Tunnel, oil tanks and anemic skies, in New Jersey, Route 80, over the Delaware, the road unraveling, the road sufficient to itself, a 20th century pilgrim's way, a home for the Tathagata, passing through the railroad earth, the gas station night, the bebop radio wail of Charlie Parker's saxophone clear across Kansas, to San Francisco, a little alley off Market Street, Tokay in a paper bag, at the foot of Bixby Canyon, Big Sur's ocean roar of vowel sounds from the far side of eternity, the waves laying better than a thousand transcendental diamonds of compassion at your feet. Even even to the end I had you, to the mayonnaise of fame, tearing you to pieces in the glow of the television set in Florida, to what's buried in Lowell's Edson Cemetery, Dijon. Nothing's buried there. The dust of your sacred, bleeding Catholic heart, with that of the Holy Ghost and certain mad and driven saints has been placed among the stars. I had nothing, but I had a gray t-shirt, and I ironed on black velvet letters, K-E-R-O-U-A-C. Yeah. Such a thrill. I can't tell you, I, I have chills.